Scorpio, welcome. <laughs> this is your weekly tarot reading for today through to Friday. Um, it's getting a bit dark here, <laughs> so like the, the lights might be a bit... I don't really want to move, if I'm being brutally honest. Uh, it would be better if I went and turned the light on, but my dog's sitting under my foot and I don't really want to disturb him, so I'm just going to do the reading with the light a bit dark. So I might be able to turn this up, actually. Let me do that. That might help. No, oh! <laughs> I've just turned it off. Hang on a minute. Let's turn that up. That might be better. Okay, a bit dazzling. <laughs> a bit dazzling in my eyes. Oh God, welcome to the channel. I hope you're not new. I hope you've seen me before. Otherwise you might just be like, oh my God, turn this channel off. Okay, let's go into the energy for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for the week ahead. And let's see what lovely energy we get here from the spirit of the tarot. Okay. Let's see the overall energy for the week, please. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Hmm. Ooh, a new beginning, Scorpio. A new beginning. And I do feel I'm shown that as well, actually. You're at the beginning of a wonderful journey. There is no need to have any fear. As the guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way. You have unique gifts to offer the world. And if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back... New opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe. Okay, how lovely. Have a look at that card. Very lovely energy. It doesn't matter. I mean, if you don't believe in angels, it's fine. It's just a spirit energy from the tarot because um, that is, um, you know, that is a major arcana card and it's the, um, it's right at the beginning of the major arcana. So, you know... That is the fall. That is the fall, basically. So, you know, there's a new beginning here for you. Let's see what fairy energy we get as well, Scorpio. You may be throwing yourself into something and you don't really know what it's going to entail. You, you know, you don't really know what it's going to entail. But at the same time, there's an excitement energy around you. There's an, excite, an excitement energy around what you're doing at the moment. Ooh. Now, the oak men are stepping in. This is the fairy energy of the oak men. It's a very wise energy. So they are telling you, Scorpio, to be very wise. <laughs> okay, don't rush. Just embrace this new beginning. But try not to rush any decisions at the moment. Okay, very important. Um very important because you might be tempted because new beginnings can feel a bit unnerving because it's the unknown you see the fool is very excited but doesn't know where, the, where he's going so um when we go into this unknown energy the ego can rise and we can tend to rush things try to stay very centered and um, embrace the unknown enjoy the fact it's the unknown you know and and don't feel like you need anything or anyone for comfort no you don't because you already are spirit so you don't need anybody to comfort you or you don't need to cling on to anything or attach to anything you can be a completely free spirit here because the oak men energy you see is coming in to stabilize you so let's see, let's go a bit deeper and see. Yeah, this week is a big shift for Scorpio. It's all about you um, letting go of the need to control, allowing yourself to be a bit vulnerable. Like I said, it may feel a bit strange because it's like, oh, I'm really letting myself go into the unknown here. But here... You know, you are clear. You have got boundaries. You can do this. You can stand alone. You can stand alone. And, okay, let your vulnerabilities come up. 
let them come up because it's all part of who you are. Um, you haven't got to rush anything. This new beginning is set, okay? Because that is the first card. So this is time. You know, this is the time for Scorpio to have this new beginning. And there's going to be no fear-based thoughts here at all. You are getting very clear this week. Very clear. It's going to be much easier for you to make a decision. Maybe you'd been putting this decision off. Right? But you won't be putting it off anymore. Uh, you are going to get great clarity this week. And you're going to be making decisions. You're going to be... But you're not going to rush it. You're going to do it from your own strength and your own power. You're not going to make a decision through fear-based thoughts. You're going to embrace your own spirit. And the person you're connected to here, I don't know who they are, but they've got the devil card. Now, this person um, tries to distract you. Okay? They try to distract you. Don't allow it. Don't allow anyone to distract you from your path. You have to now zone in on your truth, Scorpio. Um, you know, and you don't need anyone to um, distract you. You don't need anybody to put fear-based thoughts into your mind. This is your life and you can just go for it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Whoa, that is just like what I said freedom okay there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be okay free liberated and manifesting miracles scorpio because we've also got the manifesting miracles card underneath so this is it this is definitely it um, let's have a look at the alice in wonderland deck for you see what we get there two cards messages for a rabbit service to the animal world so there could be something to do with animals or being very present because something to do with animals is they're very very present um you know and it is like you have to remain very present because if you start going into too much mind activity it's going to make you project into the future too much and you can't be like that when you're in a new beginning because that will distract you as well and that will take you into lower energy when you're in a new beginning, you've got to stay intensely present because a new beginning will always bring up negative mind activity because ego, because ego doesn't like the uncertainty. And you've also got here a very, um, very much similar energy to this devil card. I think there's distractions floating around uh, Scorpio. And what I'm inviting you, or well, it's not me, <laughs> what spirit's inviting you to do this weekend, uh, this week, is to really really think about your truth because this is your new beginning this is the time for you to be really authentic and real don't do anything that is bad for you don't get distracted by anything that you know is like going to be poison to your soul because it's not really going to be your truth okay and then lastly, let's have a look what your spirit guides are supporting you with. And these are quite nurturing cards. I'm using the Goddess Love Oracle. So it's the nurturing energy of your spirit guides. What are they helping you with? <laughs> you are not alone. Companionship. I do get a sense for some Scorpios clinging on to something for comfort it doesn't have to be a person but you could be clinging on to something that you know no longer really resonates and you're doing it for comfort and you don't need to do that anymore you've got your spirit guides for comfort if anything let's go a bit deeper your source consciousness you don't need comfort because you already are source do you see it's just it's amazing really um embrace this new beginning don't get distracted don't rush it I feel some of you, it's a new uh, job or um, a new way of living, if that makes sense, you know, like your growth uh, for, for others of you as well to be careful about relationships. 
you know, uh, spirit is trying to get you into your alignment, your real alignment. So don't cling on to anything you don't need this week anymore. Okay, um, you've got a very strong energy here from spirit. It's very rooted and grounded, trying to stabilise you, okay? So that's the message. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like a one-to-one -one tarot, I'm here. You can book in. And I'm sending you lots of love, lots of peace for your week ahead, Scorpio.